uh, with uh, VMware uh, ESX, the main uh, goal was server consolidation. Uh, you could now provision virtual machines easily and you could run mul multiple virtual machines on a consolidated set of servers. And uh, what this also meant was putting your eggs in one basket. Uh, so if you had a physical server failure, it meant a lot of virtual machines going down. So that was the main motivation uh, behind VMware HA. With Virtual Center, we had a centralized management platform in which you could manage all of your hosts and virtual machines. And um, by automatically dealing with host failures, uh, you could uh, provide higher availability to virtual machines. And the advantage of this is uh, any vanilla application that's running inside a VMware HA protected virtual machine will automatically get increased availability. It'll be like your host lost power and then it host, you know, was powered back on. So you'd have a little bit of downtime, but you don't have to do any extra uh, configuration or clustering of the application and um, you automatically get uh, extra availability. The main goal of VMware HA has been, um, since we're doing a clustering at the virtual machine level rather than the, at the application level, um, you don't have to do any complicated uh, setup or clustering of the applications. And the main focus had always been to make uh, availability easy for the user. And uh, towards that, uh, the, the current way uh, that the user would go about uh, setting up HA is they would create a cluster, uh, throw a bunch of hosts into the cluster, and then there's a checkbox that says enable HA, and uh, that would be it. And they can choose the level of protection that they would like. Um, say I want to be able to tolerate a one host failure or a two host failure, and so that tells HA how much of uh, spare capacity to maintain in the cluster. And uh, the configuration of uh, HA on the various hosts in the cluster or gets done automatically, and every VM that is in the in the cluster automatically gets protection. So you do not have to go and individually turn on protection for uh, VMs. All VMs automatically get protection. When a host fails, uh, HA would automatically detect the failure of the host, and then it would uh, take the VMs that were running on that host, um, sort them on their uh, restart priority, and it's going to try to find uh, alternate hosts to place the VMs on. When we create a HA cluster, um, a, uh, we use uh, Automated Availability Manager, that's a cluster server, that we upload to each host, and uh, they get configured to communicate with each other. And um, uh, they send heartbeats and exchange uh, messages about the states of the hosts and VMs. If uh, you know I'm a host and I haven't received a heartbeat uh, from you in 15 seconds, then I would um, declare you as having failed, and I would try to fail over the virtual machines on the uh, on the remaining hosts uh, within the cluster. So its goal is to try to uh, minimize the downtime of the VM and to get the VMs back up and running as soon as possible. So the main difference between uh, high availability and uh, fault tolerance is that uh, with HA you are reacting to a failure and um, you have lost the you know, in-memory state of the virtual machine and you're restarting the virtual machine. So think of it as you, know, you have your physical server, you lost power to it, so whatever stuff was in flight is gone and you're rebooting the, the server. With fault tolerance, you are maintaining a, a shadow VM that's running in lockstep with the primary VM. And so uh, if the primary fails, the shadow can take over seamlessly and right away, so there isn't any loss of state. Um, so if you want to uh, you know, deal with host failures and not have any downtime, then you know, fault tolerance is the way to go. Mm -hmm.